Formula One is still in the continent of Asia, and this time on the island of Japan on the circuit Suzuka. And once again, Max Verstappen has the chance to win his second world championship. But first up, it's qualifying. So, some of you guys may be wondering why on earth am I doing this video? Because I did not watch the actual qualifying live, because unfortunately, my commitments, okay, do not run that deep enough for me to wake up at like 6 a.m. to watch qualifying. It's just not gonna happen, but you're still gonna get a video of my reactions of the Japanese Grand Prix qualifying So be at least happy, you know, okay. This is a Q1. This is the Alpha Tauri Cars going out that was Yuki Tsunoda. Alex Albon actually just went out before the Alpha Tauri pairing This was also the qualifying that Pierre Gasly announced that he will be driving for Alpine next season alongside Esteban Ocon, two good friends in the past, but they kind of had a strained relationship. But maybe they'll rekindle their relationship, or their relationship gets worse, and it'll be another Lewis Hamilton versus Nico Rosberg type of rivalry. Who knows? We'll find out. Sonoda is first to run the track in Suzuka because it is back on the calendar for the first time in like four years or something. Okay, so Leclerc is about to cross the line. Will he beat Verstappen's time in Q1? We will find out in just a short moment. Here he is going to the start and finish line and he goes P3. Right, so this is what it looks like after Q1. I feel like the first starting three are literally no surprises. Alonso ahead of Perez. That could be somewhat surprising. We, then we have Ocon in P6. The two Mercedes, unfortunately, are quite low on the table. And then we have the two McLaren slotting in quite well. Guan Yu Zhou just above of Lewis Hamilton. And then Sonoda doing well, sort of well in his home race. Bottas and then Vettel who just made it. And then we have the eliminated drivers. Okay, so it's time for Q2 and Carlos signs Charles Leclerc are first out on the track. So six minutes left of Q2. Ocon doing well, sitting fourth fastest. And what a lap by Daniel Ricciardo as well, beating his teammate Lando Norris. Unfortunately for Ricciardo, he will not be getting a seat in the next Formula 1 season. So we've got to enjoy it whilst he's still here. I think I spoke a little bit too soon about Ricardo because, uh, yeah, he's eliminated in Q2. But, um, yeah, this is what it currently looks like at the end of Q2. Perez got all purple sectors. Alonso sitting second fastest. Like, what the hell is going on there? Hamilton sitting fifth. Russell, on his last lap, he improved to get himself to be seventh fastest, which is good. And Vessel, Sebastian made into Q3. Even if I'm, like, seven hours late to the actual live qualifying, I'm still happy that Seb made it to Q3 okay i think we can all say collectively that we want them to you know make it to q3 even a win this season since this is last season in formula one q2 complete now we are on q3 and i believe charles leclerc in the ferrari will be the first driver actually going first to set his first q3 lap there we have Charles Leclerc. He's had nine pole positions this season, yet he has one of the worst conversion rates from pole position to a race win. So uh, he needs to try and fix that if he wants that statistic to get a little bit better. And the flag is going to be waved that we have a couple drivers left to finish their laps. We're going to watch this one out. And I believe, if I'm correct, Verstappen will get pole position. But the FIA have to see... Uh, the incident with Lando Norris, I think he probably won't get any penalties most likely because it wasn't a malicious intent in any way. Lewis Hamilton goes sixth fastest. Russell, he's yet to cross the line and he goes eighth fastest. And that is qualifying complete. And those are the differences and the seconds between Verstappen and Leclerc in the different sectors. And this is how much Leclerc was behind. That's just insanity. And this is what the starting grid will be looking like tomorrow in Japan on Suzuka. I probably will not watch the race live because of the time differences between uh, the UK and Japan. So I probably will just watch the replay of it and I may or may not make a video on it. You guys just have to wait and see. I think that qualifying just might have to be my favorite qualifying other than Silverstone. So I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like it, subscribe if you're brand new, comment what you like to see on this channel and and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.